Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with a quick video, and I want to address a new feature that's being added to Clash of Clans, or at least being worked on by the Clash of Clans development team. You guys have probably already heard about this, and I'm sure there's been YouTube videos on it because I am kind of late to the party as far as talking about this. It's been really, it, they've, they, the thread. Uh, on the forum has been out for a few days, uh, which is why I think you guys have probably already heard about it. But regardless, I think I want to do a quick uh, video on this just to talk about kind of my thoughts, what I think it is exactly, hopefully provide some new insight you guys might not have thought about yet. And uh, I will read the actual post itself so you guys don't have to click a link or anything. I'll just go ahead and read it. Uh, right in this video, then talk about what I think it is. And the main question that people are asking is, is this going to be arranged wars? Is that what they're saying they're coming out with? And you guys can kind of judge for yourself. But the short answer, at least before I read the post, is no. This is going to be called clan challenges. So no matter how you define it, it's technically a different thing because it's called a different thing. The question is, is this essentially what we were asking for um, just under a different name? Because uh, they did have the friendly challenges. Uh, the clan challenges seems like a similar name. So let's see what it's all about. And then we'll talk about if this is arranged wars, uh, if it's essentially the same thing just under a different name. So uh, going over to the, let me pull this up real quick. Okay, um, the title of this is Something We Are Working On uh, by the uh, Anush Anushka, um, one of the Supercell staff members. It says, hi everyone, writing a quick post to let you know about something we are working on, the clan challenge. With clan challenges, clans will be able to issue a friendly war request to any other clan daring to accept the challenge. Choose war participants, set the duration of preparation slash battle days, and send your clan challenge request. As soon as the opposing clan accepts the request, preparation day will begin. The feature is not meant to replace clan wars. You can't issue a clan challenge while there's an ongoing clan war, but it will offer better support for events and meetups organized by players, as well as other online slash offline community initiatives. Keep in... Keep in mind this is just a rough preview of things to come, and we will provide more details at a later point. But for now, share. But for now, share your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, so not too long of a post, uh, but it has some really interesting stuff in there, which we'll kind of just go through layer by layer. In my opinion, uh, this is pretty much the arranged wars that we've been asking for, and I say this not because I have any more insight than this post, but if you just look at what they said. Um, one thing, one kind of hint is that you can't do this during an actual clan war, which to me shows it's a separate feature um, than an actual clan war itself. Or uh, let me reword that. To me, that shows that it's not uh, it's not a separate feature in that it's still a war. So you can't have two wars going on at once. Like if we asked for arranged wars, we wouldn't expect to be able to do an arranged war while we do a random war. So I think because this is something that you can't do uh, while you're doing another war, it shows that it's pretty similar to what a war is. And it might have pretty much all the same basic features of a war um, besides just the, the duration and the fact that you don't have to do a random search. You can uh, just do it with a clan of your choosing. So I, I should have reworded that at the beginning. I think it is pretty much the same as a clan war. It might even be in the same tab on your on your uh, home on your like home account village. It might even be that same tab with the two swords crossed. Um, it might be eff effectively the same thing, just under the different time constraints. So I think that this is going to be very similar to Arranged Wars. We'll see how it is if it comes out. That's actually an if, because like they said, uh, this is something they're working on. We don't know if it will come out. Um, I assume that they're pretty confident they'll get this thing going at some point in time. Just because uh, they are confident enough to make a post about it, I doubt they would want to risk exciting the community just to have it kind of fall through. So I think this is something that's going to be more a matter of when, not if. But I do have to say if, just because nothing's set in stone yet. Okay, so that being said, I want to talk a little bit about some very interesting stuff they said um, a little bit later in the, or maybe in the middle of the post, which is, as soon as the opposing clan accepts the request, preparation day will begin. And you can set the duration of the preparation slash battle days uh yourself. That's not an, a set thing. It's not the 23-hour prep day and the 24-hour battle day. You can actually set the timer. 
And that is almost going above and beyond what we were asking for because, you know, maybe there were people that wanted to have that feature, but for the most part, we just wanted arranged wars in some in some form or another. That's all uh, That's all we really wanted, but they're adding effectively something that's even uh, even beyond that. Basically, you could, you know, have it be, I, I don't know how low it goes, we haven't seen the actual times, but I'm thinking you could have like an hour-long uh, preparation day, hour-long war. So just a two-hour event, which really opens stuff up for actual in-person events. I know people have done certain things in the community, like Chicago Live, uh, just to name one, but other live events where people are actually there. So that opens up that whole new opportunity because, one, you don't have to worry about setting up a roster and trying to match up. Uh, your clans, there's no risk of not of not being matched up. And two, you don't have to do the, the two day uh, time period. You can literally uh, initiate the war right at the beginning of the event, and it can last, you know, two hours, four hours, six hours, eight hours, however long you want, assuming they give you that that much control, and just go from there. I mean, it's really cool. I think even beyond live events, it'll allow people to have shorter wars if they want that. Maybe on the weekends, um, people in two different clans agree that they want to do it within eight hours. That way, it's a little bit easier um, for people to say, all right, I'm going to dedicate this time to my attacks. They don't have to kind of worry about other people trying to fit their attacks in and then trying to do it. It might almost make it easier to, to manage your attacks if it's a shorter war and you can pretty much guess exactly when you're going to have to attack ahead of time so you can set aside some time to do that. So that's very cool. And finally, one thing I want to say beyond being able to manipulate the time is that for clans that weren't able to do arranged wars because of some of the some of the logistics and not wanting to spend that much time, this is a very easy option to do arranged wars. It'll bring a lot more clans into that arranged war scene because all they have to do is, as far as I know, as far as the post kind of uh, hints at, all they have to do is send the challenge, have the people uh, just tap on the members they want in the war, and it'll go from there. There's no logistics in it. Makes it a lot easier. That'll bring more clans into the arranged war scene. And for clans already in arranged wars, now the leaders who spent so much time doing the spreadsheets to get the war rate, the war rates to match up and try to get the matchup to happen, now those people have a ton more time to actually have fun play the game. They don't have to worry about uh, having the clans match. So... Very awesome stuff. Um, huge shout out to Supercell for doing this. And I think it's really going to bring that next dimension to the game. One more thing I want to add. So far, like recently, we've seen a lot of stuff relating to Clan Wars. Not much trophy pushing stuff that we used to see in the past. Not much farming stuff. It seems like war is kind of the future of the game. And I think that Supercell has recognized that. And they're starting to add some new stuff to keep the people that are in participating in Clan Wars happy by adding new features and stuff like that. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope I added something to kind of your thoughts, um, gave you something new to think about. And I hope you're excited for whenever this update will be. Um, and I hope it's just as spe spectacular as it sounds right now. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.